Yeah. Hey, Dion, uh, how you doing today? Doing pretty good. How about yourself? I'm doing pretty good. Hey, just, uh, you know, how big was this win for for the team? Y'all been scrapping all season and pull this one out with the interception there. Yeah, this was a good one. Um, a good start to get on the run um, and back to work this week, you know, try to get another one. But this week was definitely a good week. Um, you know, put a good game together and trying to continue to stack it and put more together. And uh, how do how do you all uh, you know worry about the playoff situation uh, with the Buffalo game coming up? Um, like I said, just taking it one game at a time and trying to go on this run. Uh, right now, the focus is Buffalo. Definitely trying to come out there with a win, and um, then we'll see about you know the game back at home. All right, thank you. No problem, Michael. Hey, Dion. How, how are you doing? You? Good man. Uh, I want to follow in the playoff thing for a minute. I mean, how how much do y'all scoreboard watch at this point? Like, how much do you understand the scenarios that kind of need to happen beyond realistically you guys winning out to to even have a shot? Yeah, I I, uh, I watch it a little bit, but not really. Uh, really, just watch the flow of the game and um, how we take care of the situation the ball. That's usually how I watch the game. I don't really pay attention to the score. Okay, I just wasn't sure whether you were like all of a sudden a big Cowboys fan the next couple of weeks because it seems like they probably need to help you guys a bit. <laughs> nah, I'm I'm around with the birds right now. <laughs> I'm with the dirty birds right now, not a cowboy. Uh, so how would you assess how you've played this year? Uh, I feel like I played pretty good. Um, you know, constantly just learning this this new spot and all the things that came with this position and. I think I definitely put my best foot forward this season and uh, definitely w willing to take another step next season if this is the same role I'm going to be taking out, uh, being, you know, dealt. I, I, just the last thing, and then I'll, uh, how, how has your role changed? Because I don't know if we've really talked all that much about what that difference has really been. Like I said, uh, I used to be in the middle of the defense. Now I'm on, like, the side or the, um, the edges of the defense. And... I guess uh, just new angles, new new type of responsibility, blitzing a little more, covering, uh, you know, different type of uh, space and, you know, tight ends and running backs. But other than that, like, it's just basically me paddling on the edge of the defense, not in the middle. That's the big difference. Okay. Appreciate it. Thanks, Dale. Okay. Josh? Yeah, what do you think of Foyer? What do you think of Foyer's game yesterday, and what do you think about his progression this season? Foyer's been lighting it up. Foyer's been having a great season. Uh, like I said, it's a product of his hard work and, and how he attacks every week. Um, and it's paying off well. He closed out another game, a, a game, the last game, especially when we need it, right in the red zone. That's closer mentality. Uh, and he, like I said, he, he's he's on he's doing his thing. And he he took all, he took the middle linebacker role and ran away with it. And that's just the that's just the type of guy he is. And I'm happy for him. Beyond the hard work and, and sort of the mental side of the game, what are the physical traits that allow him to excel there? Uh, he's, def he's definitely sideline to sideline. He definitely fit the gaps. Um, good in coverage. Discipline. I mean, that's, that's for you. Thanks, Dan. Tori? Hey, Deba, I want to go back to to last night and uh, something that Arthur Smith said I thought was really telling of, of this defense. But he was talking about how y'all had been out there for, gosh, 38 minutes by the end of the game. And he said, y'all could have come out there in that final drive and really played on your heels, but you didn't. And you came out there with essentially the energy you needed to win the game. I was just kind of curious, kind of from your perspective, what does that say about this defensive unit? Um, How much we've grown, Um, to be honest, like, those situations, uh, you know, we would have been kind of, like what I said, like something like that happened. I didn't get kind of, you know, bummed, not not bummed out, but, you know, kind of thinking about it. Uh, this time we didn't bat an eye. We just ran out there and knew we had a job to take care of and got it taken care of. And that's just like the mindset that's evolved, like, throughout the whole season. And it paid off at a great time. And we continue, we want to continue to keep this going. I guess we can do it. Right. Yeah. So sorry. Um, but I guess that honestly kind of like goes off of what um, a theme of like last night was where, where guys were talking about closing out games and how that's a part of this culture. And y'all are seven and two and 
one possession games. I mean, what does that kind of mean to the culture of this organization at this point in time? Um, like I said, this we we can be that type of team, closing out games uh, on offense, finishing with the ball, or defense. If we have to stop, like you know, whatever we have to do, like we can be that team, and it's it's right there. It's, we put it on tape plenty of times, and we just gotta continue to like continue to make that part of our culture and our ethos. Cool, awesome, thank you. Thank you. D. Led, do you have any follow ups? Yeah, Dion. Um. What has been uh, uh, what have been some of the keys? Um, you know, when y'all play teams that are you know playoff teams, winning records, uh, y'all play them close, but then the game gets gets away at some point. What's gonna be the key against this Buffalo team that's uh, pretty tough, coming off a big win against the Patriots? It's definitely gonna be us, you know, being locked in, being focused, uh, you know, coming out, flying around. Uh, setting the tone out there in the cold. And like I said, just not bad now. Going out there and, you know, taking care of what we got to take care of no matter what. Uh, have you checked the weather forecast? Nah. Okay. All right. Thanks, Dion. <laughs> no problem. Michael, do you have anything else? Yeah, I want to follow up on something you just said about ethos. Arthur was talking about that a lot yesterday. Is that is that kind of a new thing in this locker room this year, just kind of – some of the, like that terminology, that phrasing, where you know it's I mean, beyond culture. It's kind of like what we've been calling it in here, yeah. So yeah. When did that start? Was that has that been like from the jump, or did that like pop in like midseason? Or mm, I mean, we always talked about our own culture, our own swagger. I mean, there's a lot of ways you could put it, but we've just been saying ethos. Okay. <laughs> we always <laughs> talked about it. Like I said, it just happened to be ethos. <laughs> there's like a giant board i don't know if there was like a giant board with words that you guys should use nah not at all, <laughs> all right. appreciate it thanks Leon. no problem josh do you have anything else i'm good thank you guys no problem appreciate it tori anything from you i'm also good y'all have a good day all right thank you everybody have a good one y'all too guys